Hello, welcome to another free online homework help video from alexpleasehelp.com. My name is Alex and I'm here to help with factoring quadratic trinomials. I'm going to teach you how to factor a trinomial like this and turn it into this. x squared plus 7x plus 12 factors into x plus 4 times x plus 3. In order to do this, you got to think backwards a little. Taking, for example, something that looks like this, x plus 4 times x plus 3. It takes this form, x plus a times x plus b. In order to simplify this, or expand this rather, you use what's called FOIL. First, outer, inner, last. You take the first terms in each binomial, multiply them together, you take the outer terms, then you take the inner terms, and then the last terms. And here's what it looks like spread out. The first is x squared, because you have x times x. The outer, x, and x times b. The inner is a times x. And the last are a times b. I have them written in alphabetical order here. x squared plus ax plus bx plus ab. There are like terms in the middle, and they can be combined. x squared plus a plus b times x plus ab. So when you have a quadratic trinomial, it typically looks like this, x squared plus some number m times x plus n. So if you r relate these two, you see that m is this a plus b term, and n is this a times b term. So with that, we can then work on a method for factoring any trinomial. Okay, so the first step, divide the, divide the screen here a little. You take a trinomial and you find out what's m and what's n. In this case, m is 7, and this is an a plus b term. So you need two numbers that add to 7. This is your middle term here that's being multiplied by the x. And then you find n. The two numbers that multiply come up with 12. They are the same numbers. a plus b equals 7, a times b equals 12. So the first step, you, f you start with n, and you find its factors. 12 equals 1 times 12. It also can equal 2 times 6. It also can equal 3 times 4. So. From this over here, n equals a times b, so we need to figure out what m is, because it's a plus b. So now we have our options for a and b, and you make a table. 12 can be 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. In order to figure out what m is, you need to say, okay, which pair adds up to m? Since m is 7, 3 plus 4 equals 7. So your a and b terms are 3 and 4. x squared plus 7x plus 12 factors into x plus 3 times x plus 4. That's one example. This is an example where both of them are positive. Now what if one's negative? OK, here's an example x squared plus 2x minus 15. Find m and n. a plus b adds up to 2. a times b multiplies to negative 15. Don't forget the negative. It's very important. You can't ignore it. So since the 15 is negative, one of these has to be negative. It can't be both of them because if they were both negative then this 15 will be positive. So you have to take that into consideration when you're making your table. Negative 15 can be 1 times negative 15. It can be negative 1 times positive 15. It can be positive 3 times negative 5 or negative 3 times positive 5. Each row when you find the sum 1 plus negative 15 equals negative 14. That doesn't work negative 1 plus 15 equals positive 14. That doesn't work. You're looking for a 2, and here's the positive 2. It's the negative 3 plus 5. So this is A, and this is B. x squared plus 2x minus 15 factors into x minus 3 and x plus 5. 
Here's another example. You have x squared minus 19x minus 42. Negative 19 is a plus b. Negative 42 is a times b. Don't forget the negative on the 19 or the 42. You have to keep them with there. So when you're making your table, 1 and negative 42, negative 1 and positive 42, you're looking for this negative 19. And here it is, the 2 plus the negative 21. When you're making these tables, start with the 1 and then work your way up. You go, okay, can 1 go into the 42? Yes. Can the 2 go into the 42? Yes. Can the 3 go into the 42? Yes. Can a 4 go into 42? Not evenly, so you don't put it in the table. The next number up is 6, and then you put it in the table. And then the negative 7 pops out with the positive 6, and it's negative 1. But you're not looking for any of these. You only care about this one. So this one factors into the a is 2, and b is negative 21. So it's x plus 2 and x minus 21. Here's a third example. OK. x squared minus 15 plus 36. OK. 36 is the a times b. Now, the 36 is positive. So either a and b are both positive or they're both negative, because a negative number times a negative number can still equal a positive number. Since the 15 is negative, that means that both A and B are negative. A and B couldn't both be positive, because then the 15 would be positive. So you know that A and B are negative, because this is negative. So when you're making your table, all of your possible values of A and B are going to be negative. One, negative, thir blah, negative one times negative 30, or times negative 36, negative 2 times negative 18, negative 3 times negative 12, negative 6 times negative 6. These are all the factors of 36. So when you're adding them to figure out where n is, this negative 15, this is your pair right here, negative 3 and negative 12. So x squared minus 15x plus 36 factors into x minus 3 and x minus 12, because those are both your a and b. And that's how you factor quadratic trinomials. If you have any math problems that, or physics problems that you're struggling with, please send them to me. I have a form at alexpleasehelp.com slash online slash submit. If I think your problem is worth videoing, I will make a video. Also, please support alexpleasehelp.com. Buy math and physics books through my Amazon store, alexpleasehelp.com slash store.